Hello and welcome. In the previous video, we built the home page of our complete Hostinger e-commerce website. Now, in this video, we are going to build a cart page. Let me refresh this to see our pop-up. So, we are going to build a cart page, which is this page. And we have the related product at the bottom here. Also, we are going to build a login page, which is this page, and the sign-up page. Okay. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe to help me reach 10,000 subscribers. Alright, let's get into the video. Alright, we are going to start by creating cat.html file in our root directory. So cat, cat.html. Now let's go to our index.html and copy everything. Close it. Go to cat.html and paste it here. Then let's remove our slider script. Glide.js script also. And after, we are going to move the pop-up also. We need the footer. Everything between the header. Everything between the header. Okay, we don't need the hero area also. But first, let's move everything between the header. Now let's move the hero and let's go to the top and change the title to cut page let's save this let's move this cdns also glide js and let's look for okay box icon we need it now let's save this and open the project with our browser i'm going to use go live which is live server and we have the top nav and the navigation then our footer at the bottom now let's go to our cat.html and between the header and the footer let's start with a div of container container and the secondary class of cat and we are going to have table let's have table row within it let's have th let's give it test of product copy this down twice change the second one to let's say quantity quantity and the third one to subtitle Let's save this under the table row. Let's have another table row. So not try table row. Within this, let's have TD and a div with a class of cat info. Now let's start with IMG, which is our image. Enter into images folder. Then let's look for product. Let's say maybe product two. Below the image, let's have a div. And we need a paragraph here with a test boys. Let's say t-shirt. Let's save this. Below the paragraph, let's have a span. Let's give it price. And we want the fifty dollars. Let's add a line break here. And now we need our link. The remove button. So let's say remove. Let's save this. Below the TD, let's have another TD. And this time, let's put an input here. And we want type to be number and value should be one and a minimum value should be let's say one. Let's save this below the TD. Let's have another TD and let's put our price here. So $50. Let's save this. Go to our browser. And we should have this. 
Now let's go and copy this down. Maybe let's say maybe four times one, two, three, four. And let's change the individual images. Let's give this one five randomly. Just change them. This one should be three or two. This should be seven. And I think this one should be let's give it three. Let's save this. Go back to our browser. And we should have this. Now let's start with the styling. So go to your text editor and let's go to index. Sorry, styles.css. Scroll to the bottom. Let's leave a comment of cat. Now let's select our cat class. So we say cat. Let's give it margin of 10 rem. Top and bottom, then left and right should be auto. Let's save this. Now let's select our table. Let's give it width of 100%. And border collapse of collapse. Let's now select our cat info. Info. And let's give a display of flex. Flex wrap should be wrap. Let's now select our th and let's give it test align of left and padding of 0.5 or sides. Let's give it color of white fff and background color should be our green color so our green and let's set font weight to normal font weight to normal let's save this let's now select our td and let's give it padding let's say one rem and 0.5 rem now let's select our td and the input in it so td we need the input let's give it width of 5 rem and let's give it height let's say 3 rem and padding should be 0.5 rem let's select our link so td and we want our link let's give it color of orange and let's give it font size of 1.4 rem now let's select our image so td dash image let's give it a width of 8 rem and height height of 8 rem let's also give it margin right of 1 rem let's save this go to our browser and we have this but there is still some gap here so we need to fix something let's go back and let's say total okay we haven't added this in our html yet so let's go to our html and below the table below the table so scroll down below the table we are going to start with a class of total so let's say total price will be laid the table a div with a class of total 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 then price now let's have a table again and now let's have a tr we need this let's have td let's give it sub title copy this down change the second one to two hundred dollars two hundred dollars now below that tr let's have another tr let's give it a td so within this let's have a td let's say tax copy this down let's give it a value of let's say fifty dollars for the tax let's have another tr again we need let's have our td let's give it total copy this down and let's change 
the value to 250 let's save this now below the tr so below the table let's have a link a button so let's put a hash sign there let's give it a class of um let's say checkout dash btn and let's give it a test of proceed to checkout let's go back to our browser and we have this let's go to our styles.css and give it some styling so we select the cut total the total price total dash price price and let's give it display of flex align items of flex end let's give it flex direction of column not center column let's give it margin top of two rem now let's select the table in the total price the table and let's give it border top of three pixels solid let's give it our green color of our green let's save this now below that let's have a width of 100 percent let's also give it a max width of 35 rem now let's select the first child in the td so the td let's say okay last child, let's select the last child rather last child let's give it test align of right now let's select the checkout class so let's go to this place we say this button not yeah let's close this let's close this one also so we need the styles let's put this there and let's give it display line block background color should be var green and let's give it color of white and padding should be one rem let's give it margin top of one rem now let's write just one media query to make it responsive so media let's say only or let's just use our normal so max width and we want five six seven pixels let's select the cut and we want the paragraph so we want the paragraph let's give it display of none let's save this go back to our browser and we should have this nice cut which is responsive now let's inspect this because we are getting some weird so this for the header so the header let's see so this is the header and this is our cut and the header has so we have to remove some classes here so let's go to our cut.html let's move this header so that we can have fully our navigation let's scroll down and look for header again let's move this save this go back and now we have everything is working so let's go to responsive mode it is also responsive all right the next thing is to create the login page and the sign up page so let's go back to our index let's go back to our test editor rather and let's start with well before that we need some related products in the cat.html so let's go to index and let's look for featured products and copy everything so featured product featured product this is it featured product let's copy this copy this copy this let's scroll down and copy this let's go to our cat.html and below the cat let's paste it here let's just change the 
the title to related products so let's see this one is related and let's change here to related so related let's save this change the images randomly so let's give this one let's say five this one should be okay four this one should be let's say one this one let's give it maybe seven and let's save this go back to our browser and below that we have our featured products all right let's now go to our test editor close this now let's start with the file with the name of let's say login login dot html now let's go to the cat dot html and copy everything go to our login and paste it here we don't need the cat so and the related product also let's copy everything between and let's just remove it so this is the container let's remove it let's save this and let's go to our browser let's change this to login.html and we have this now we need the content so go back all right let's go to the top and change the title to login so the top here let's change it to login so login and let's go down below the navigation and let's start with our container class so container and within this container let's have a div called login dash form and within this let's have a form with no action within the form let's have an h1 with a test of login now below the h1 let's have a paragraph paragraph let's give it a test of already have an account and question mark login login or then let's put our sign up link there and this should lead to the sign up page so let's put href and should lead to sign up dot html sign up dot html let's give it a test of sign up so sign up let's save this below the paragraph let's have a label and it's for email and the test should be email below the label let's have an input and it should be email let's give it a placeholder of let's say enter email then let's give it a name of email so a name of email let's save this and below the the input let's have a label again label and it should be for psw so password and the test should be password below the label let's start with an input and the type should be password so password and let's give it a placeholder of enter password and let's give it a name of let's say psw so let's save this let's copy this down for the other password the confirm password and let's change the for to let's say psw dash repeat repeat and let's change the placeholder to enter so let's say repeat password so repeat 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 password and this one should also be dash repeat let's save this below the input let's start with another label so let's say label and it, within this label so let's move the four we don't need the four within this label 
let's have an input of type check check box and let's give it checked of checked let's set maybe style some inline style here and we want margin bottom to be 15 pixels let's save this below and let's give this one so below the input let's put some text so remember remember me then below the label let's have a paragraph let's give it maybe a test of by creating an account you agree to our then let's put a link there which will lead to nowhere and let's put a test of terms and privacy privacy let's save this below the paragraph let's start with a div and let's give it a class of buttons and let's have some buttons there so button and let's give it a class the first one should be cancel cancel btn and the test should be cancel let's copy this down and let's change this one to sign up so sign up and this should be let's say login so let's save this go to our browser and now we have our form so let's go back to styles or css and let's start writing some styles for the form so we are going to start by selecting the login form but let's leave a comment first so let's say login so login form and let's give it a class of login form padding should be five rem and zero and let's give it max width of 50 rem let's set margin to five rem and auto now below that let's use our login class again now let's select the form in it let's give it display of flex flex direction to column let's now select the h1 in the form so let's copy this down we need the h1 to so the h1 and let's give it margin bottom of let's say one rem let's copy it down again for the paragraph let's change the h1 to paragraph and let's give it margin bottom of two so two rem and let's paste it again now we need the label so the labels let's give the margin bottom of one rem let's go for our input so let's say let's paste this down again and we want the input let's give it border of one pixels solid and let's give it ccc let's give it an outline of none so none and let's also give it padding of 1.5 rem and zero let's give it test indent of let's say one rem let's set font size to 1.6 rem and let's set margin bottom to 2 rem let's give it border radius of let's say 0.5 rem let's save this go back to our browser and now we have our form let's give some styles to the buttons here so first let's start with the placeholder for the input copy this it can't even copy so below that let's paste it here and let's use the placeholder so we want the placeholder so place order and let's give it font size of 1.6 rem let's give it color of 222 now let's select our buttons so we need the buttons 
but uh, let's give it margin top of one ring let's select the individual buttons so let's paste it down here let's select our button let's give them outline of none and border of none let's give them font size of 1.6 rem let's give them padding of so padding one rem top and bottom then left and right should be three rem let's also set margin right to 1.5 rem 1.5 rem sorry 1.5 then background color should be our green color black green and now color should be white and Keza of pointer and let's select the link in the paragraph so let's paste it down here and we want the paragraph and the link in it let's give it color of let's see dodge or the spelling dodge blue dodger blue or something so let's save this go back to our browser and now we have our form when we go to the responsive mode it should be responsive also so let's go and do the same for the sign up page because they are similar so we are going to copy everything but first we need to create a file with a name what is this let's close this now in the root directory let's create a file with the name sign up dot html i'll go to the login page copy everything paste it in the sign up page scroll to the top and change the title to sign up scroll down and let's change some little details here so we need this to be sign up and yeah we are going to say let's see already have an account or so if you are new you can let's say maybe if if you are new register or let's just put login dot html so here we are going to change to login you can change the test to anything you want i can't remember the exact test so let's see yeah let's change it to sign up sign up let's go back to our browser and let's click this now we have the sign up page but the test i can't remember the test and we have sign up now we've successfully created the login page the sign up page and the card page the next thing we're going to create is the product details page and also the products page so see you in the next video